was stopping judgment purely on myself, not in other people. Yep. And I'm sure it's about so I can harm myself. Yep. I have trouble getting off it. Yep. <laughs> I've been there, girl. I've been there. And the only thing that helped me was actually working through the emotions that are, were about the judgment of myself. And most of those emotions were about, you know, feeling ashamed of myself, feeling guilty about things that have happened in the past, things like that. So allow yourself to experience those emotions. Don't go and hit yourself like I often did. Um, so I, I often got the stage of self-punishment where I'd punch myself in the face as hard as I could with my fist. Um, so I've been there in that place and it's a really terrible place to be. Um, but allow yourself to experience what's underneath that. So, so judgment of yourself is just as bad as judgment of another. In fact, in some cases it's probably worse. Because it's, you, you, you're treating yourself just as badly as you're treating another person mm -hmm. if you're judging them. And it's also very damaging to your emotional experience because while you judge yourself, <coughs> you won't feel your emotion, the underlying emotion. Let yourself go to the underlying emotion, which is always grief about a deeper issue, usually a lot of self-shame. Let yourself go there to the self-shame issue. Yeah. And without hurting yourself. How did you do that? I mean, I'm going through that right now for the last couple of weeks. Yep. Just self-judgment and it's getting worse and worse. Yep. How did you, did you snap out of it? What did you actually, what was the technique? Or is, there, <laughs> is there anything that you found to get the process started to, to, to go deeper or to, to do something? I had to come to an emotional realization that every time I judged myself, I just doubled up my emotional processing. I had to do it emotionally, yeah. So I had to actually feel about that. Do Feel about how much I wanted to punish myself. So what I had to do is go through the feelings that I had of wanting to punish myself. So I forced myself to not punish myself, but actually go through the emotion of how much I wanted to really feel how much I wanted to. And, one, and underneath that was all this terrible self-shame. Just terrible feelings about myself. I can already see all that. Yeah. So let yourself feel how much you want to harm yourself. Without harming yourself. Do you need Well, you do it by yourself? Well, yeah, I did it by myself, but... In the end, you don't need assistance okay. for, to, do, to process an emotion, but well, you f there's a feeling in you that you're going to need it. So it's up to you, though. Mm -hmm. But there is a feeling in you that you're going to need that. Why, why I think I keep mine just going around and around, because it keeps me stuck in um, feeling dumb, no good and hopeless. But you know what I found underneath all of this was it was a really big rage with other people that I wouldn't let myself feel. Right? So what I was doing was I was internalizing all of this anger and rage and resentment, back turning it all back in on myself. When underneath all of that there was this emotion that actually, no, lots of other people have hurt me in my life. And I wasn't letting myself feel the rage of that hurt. So instead of allowing, my, my, one of my biggest denials throughout this life has been anger. Um, I wasn't allowing myself to experience my own anger. And instead of allowing myself to experience the anger and rage, what I would do is I would punish myself. I would actually hit myself and hurt myself. Mm -hmm. right? So what, I, what I've had to try to learn to do, and this is why I got the boxing bag and the baseball bat and a few other things like that, is and a shed. And a shed, yeah. I, I beat up my shed the other day. So. <laughs> um, um, but the reason why I've done that is because I needed to connect to these rage feelings to stop actually internalising the rage. Do you follow me? Yeah. So that my, my feelings of wanting to shut down my rage was so strong 
that I would I would not I would in, I would internalize it and actually direct it at myself. So there's a lot of things getting damaged around my house at the moment. <laughs> <laughs>